it's recording, yeah? Yep, alright. So, we're going to say all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Um, double honors to the apostles, apostles of, GMS. of GMS. And shalom to all the brothers out there, the Akiyam that's doing the work throughout the four corners of the earth. So, we just linked up, brothers, we linked up and that. And, um, you know, uh, I don't like saying names and all that, you know, yeah, and I do videos, you know. Yeah, we just basically, brothers linked up, you know. Brothers linked up. And, uh, uh, we just wanted to just go into like just some scriptures that like, of the spirit and that like, talk about certain things and that like, that's going on and um, uh, uh, yeah, I got a scripture that I wanted to start with, so I'm gonna start with. Shall, so you want to say anything? Uh, no, no, you can you can start. You can start. Right. Let the spirit flow. Right. Ezekiel 25 and 12. It says, "Thus saith the Lord, Power, which is Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, because the Edom have have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance." And have greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Yeah, who's Edom? Edom is Edom is a so-called white man, you know. Um, Edom, the Edomites, when you read in the scriptures, are is talking about the so-called white man, you know. And as it says in the scriptures, um, it says that that Edom have dealt against the house of Judah. Who's Judah? Judah's Judah's um, uh, um, get into it. Judah's oh, Yahweh does. Sorry, it's a lot, man. Yeah, because there's people walking past this trying to distract, man, you know, to save it. Yeah, save it. Trying to distract, man. But Yehawadah is basically, Judah is basically the, the head tribe of the nation of Israel, which is the tribe that our Savior, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, comes from, Come. the tribe of Judah. And it says that Edom have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and have greatly revenged himself upon them. So what's that talking about? It's talking about captivity, slavery, taking Jake down. And you want to you wanna, you wanna say something? Yeah, no, you know, they, they, these Edoms, I mean, it's not only Edom. Edom will pay, but um, all of these heathens, you know, they basically dealt treacherously, the scripture said, with um, the house of Judah. The house of Judah, and you know, the Most High is going to, uh, is going to let us get them raw. Um, oh, okay, there's more, there's more, there's uh, more. Yeah, yeah. Get Judah, what you're getting as well, yeah, yeah, yeah. get what you're getting, there's more. But it says that the house of Judah, by taking vengeance, and I've greatly offended it and revenged himself upon them. So how the hell did the so-called white man um, greatly revenge and revenge himself upon Israel by taking um, Judah down? First of all, the first slaves that went down was where? In um, Spain and Portugal. That's where the first slave ships came from. Because you always talk about oh, Africa, Africa. But yeah, they did come from West Africa. But the first slave ships came from Spain and Portugal. Why? Because Negroes were ruling up in there, man. Judah, because Judah represents Benjamin and Levi as well. You know what I'm saying? So the slaves will take, the so-called Jake was taken down from Spain and Portugal as well. And that's part of um, Esau um, uh, 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 taking revenge upon us by starting to put that yoke upon Jake, go on. you know? Uh, yeah. yeah, go on. If, go I, on. if I can just yeah. say this as well, like, I think I think one thing that is, is that we don't really cover a lot is what these, these Ishmaelites did as well. Because yeah. as whilst you had the transatlantic slave, slave trade going yeah. on, I get that, I've got a scripture. You, you also had what the, what the Ishmaelites would do, you know, and they, they too gonna, are going to pay. You know, I've just got a quick, quick, um, a quick precepts to so 2nd Thessalonians 1 and 6 says seeing it is a righteous thing with the most high to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you you know you know when you when you're a Christian you might be told yo 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 revenge isn't good man revenge what 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 does what does uh recompense mean you know so the most high sanctioned us to basically get our revenge and, and you know <laughs> When that day comes, <laughs> well, yeah, you heathens are. Read that, read that scripture again, it says there. It says uh, 2 Thessalonians 1 and 6. Seeing it is a righteous thing with the most high to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. That's right, man. And it says it's a righteous thing. So it's right, like you, like you were just saying, you know, people say, oh, you can't, a man of God don't speak that way, or you can't, you can't talk about violence, and you can't. First of all, the scriptures say that the Heavenly Father is a man of war. Calm. He's a man oh, of no, war. No, but, uh, that, that's, that's, the, that's the most time of the Old Testament. Oh, then you, oh, yeah. then you, you know. Oh, then you, that's what they say, that's though. That's what they say. That's what they say. But it says that he's a man of war, man. So a man of war is about violence, man. Right? It's a balance, man. You've got to have a balance. It's a ba the scriptures tell you that there's there's um, a, seat, uh, in a, a time and a purpose for everything, everything under the heaven. So you need war. You don't. Just, you can't just be all peace. You can't be walking <laughs> always in a Disneyland world. Like, that's bullshit, man. That's bullshit, man. And that's what's pushed in this world because this damn the Edomite's ruling and Esau pushes that vibration Can't. while he's destroying everything around. Can't. You know, so, yeah. people, people I went to school with, you just, just have more fun, just, just have fun. Because have... that's what all this society is about. Right. Just folly. about having folly, yeah. Folly. Having fun, not, 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 not doing anything serious. If you're, right. if you're into serious stuff, there's something wrong with you. Right. You know, 
Right. And if you're in, uh, definitely if you're into the scriptures, there's something wrong with you. If you're into the scriptures the right way, Come. there's something wrong with you. I mean, the right way is what? Through the spirit. That's the only way. Because everything else is bullshit out here, man. Everything else is just like, it's, it's, it's nonsense. And all that, when you're in the world, you're into that. Because I was brought up as a Christian as well, blood. That's wank, man. That's bullshit. <laughs> That's a but that's because of, of Esau, man. And that, that's you so-called white people. You're Edomites, by the way. We're talking about you, you know, through the Spirit of the Lord. You're the Edomites or the Bible. Do you believe in the Bible? No, you don't. See, that's proof there. They're the devil, man. But that's, and that's another thing with our people. They, you know our Jake here, Jake? Because yeah. we, we have to get in the Spirit of Can't, telling these yeah, Edomites yeah, that they're yeah, Edomites yeah, too, yeah. man. Because Jake is and always on that. Time as well. Jake's always on that love everyone kind of spirit. Yeah. Let me read this scripture because I'm babbling on, you know, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me read this because I don't want to. Because it says, because the Lord said we're going to get revenge, bro. Calm. Yeah. We're going to get revenge. It's, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing, thing, man. Well, the thing is, most of our nation, they don't, they don't want revenge. They want to integrate. Yeah, in it, in it. You know, whenever, whenever you like, people, for instance, you had Mara Balotelli getting racially abused the other day. Why is Did he? What? I, I thought, yeah, Man yeah. Uh, after he cost Manchester United for losing, he was just like Manchester United, laugh out loud or something. You know, and you had the, this Edomite, uh, Craig Sainsbury, supposedly some fucking reporter, in it. Tell them who Balotelli is, man. Oh, Mario Balotelli, he's a, he's, a, he's a, if you're in the States, he's a soccer player. <laughs> uh, he plays for Liverpool uh, United, Liverpool, not Liverpool United, Liverpool FC. Um, basically, he's a black Italian. You know, in Italy, whenever he plays for the national team, those Edomites are getting onto him. And he's a Jake, he's a Jake, but he's from Ghana. He's a yeah. Jake from Ghana. Yeah. That's where Balotelli's from. Yeah. And so basically, he was being racially abused, you know. And then you had niggas, why is there still racism? I don't get it. I don't. It's because you're not supposed to be fucking getting together with Esau. What the fuck's right. your problem? Right. <laughs> you know, it, it, that's the thing. Jake just wants to integrate, integrate, integrate. Yeah. You know, when we did things on our own, we, we, we excelled. And Esau looked we're like, oh, yeah. oh we, we, can't, we can't be having this going on. And they killed the shit. You know? Stop trying to be in tune. Don't stop trying to be one with your flipping oppressor, man. Exactly. Exactly. That's what it is. Your, your ass has been getting whooped for all these years now. And you, you're in that kind of laxity yeah, daisy spirit. Like, you know, you want to... But the scriptures talk about Stockholm. Judah being a lion, like a lion's whelp, like a, um, a crouched lion. Yeah. You shall rouse him up. And that's Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. He's going to rouse Judah, man, in these race wars. But he's already rousing up, brothers. Because you got Judah, um, Benjamin, Levi, Issachar. Manasseh, all the tribes together now, all over the world, right? they're waking up through the spirit of the Lord. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is waking up all the brothers, man, and they're coming in and they're, 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 they're pushing his word. So let me continue on with this anyway in Ezekiel. It says, therefore, it says, so that uh, by taking vengeance, and I've greatly offended him, so he uh, offended and revenged himself upon them. So Esau took revenge upon us by what? Taking us down. And not just taking down Judah, but also taking down um, our native brothers in the Americas. Um, the the the, the um, southern kingdom. No, wait. The, no, wait correct me. I'm get, I always get that mixed up. Northern kingdom, southern kingdom. Uh, well, northern, you're not, uh, the Latin Americans. La yeah. Latin Americans are the northern, northern kingdom. kingdom. Yeah, 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 yeah. I always get that mixed up. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the northern kingdom. He took that northern kingdom. 